Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we're playing the Saints Row Boss Factory. I mean, it's kind of just Saints Row, but I like to do it in the Boss Factory because it's a little bit easier to navigate, you know, through all the bosses. And if you sh save them in here, you can access them from in-game. So we're going to be looking at some more bosses today, some more uh, player-created bosses. And uh, the category today, as you probably already know, is video game characters. So people other than characters from this game. And uh, this category is one where there is a lot of player creation. So if you want to see a part two of this, let me know down in the comment section because I've already picked out quite a few more that I really like. Uh, I just like to keep these videos kind of short. So that's why I didn't make the list too long today. So we're going to be going over seven that I found that are pretty fun and unique and definitely uh, are fun to play with in the game. And so let's just start it off with the first one. So of course, we got to start it off with Johnny Gat. If you're going to play Saints Row, uh, a lot of people don't like that the new game totally ditched the old characters. And a lot of people's favorite Saints Row character, now I can't say everyone, but a lot of people's favorite was Johnny Gat. And this one is a fantastic creation. Love it. It looks basically exactly like him. They nailed it. I even think the outfit perfectly encapsulates it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just great for all of those reasons. So if you want to play the game and maybe pretend that instead of being a whole new character, uh, you're Johnny Gat leading this new up-and-coming gang, I think maybe that helps with the immersion a little bit and fixes a lot of people's problems with the fact that it just doesn't have any of the old characters in it. So uh, this one's pretty great. It was created by Lex359. There's our share code. If you want to get yourself dressed up as Johnny Gat and pretend that this is more of a, a sequel instead of a reboot, that's the way to do it. So that's number one. Let's move on to number two. At number two, we got Piper from Fallout 4. So everyone's favorite or probably not. I know it's not my favorite, but a lot of people's favorite, maybe, uh, companion from Fallout 4. Uh, the annoying news girl from uh, Diamond City. Uh, this one stood out immediately to me just because the outfit actually works really well and they were able to get sort of the dirty vibe down and it just feels really well for her. Now obviously again like is the case with quite a few of these face could use a little bit of work there's a distinct difference but they got it close enough that I was able to recognize it immediately. So if you're a big Bethesda fan or you just love Fallout or maybe Fallout 4 was the best game ever in your opinion and you just really want to play as Piper, then this is the way to do it. So this one was created by Fryman777, our share code right there. You want to check it out and play as Piper? This is how you do it. Let's move on to number three. Here at number three, we got Waluigi from, you know, Mario, obviously. And so this is our uh, antagonist opposite to... Luigi, obviously, so uh, I know I showed this one. I think I showed this exact same one. There's multiple ones you can find, but I think I showed the same one in my first video where I kind of went over just a rough level overview of uh, different bosses that I found that were cool. But I don't think I showed the creator, the drawable, and the share code. So if you wanted to find it, but you know, we're having trouble, now you'll be able to find it pretty well. And so obviously this one is goofy. If you're if you're playing the game, which is, you can see the tag goofy there. If you're playing the game as, as Waluigi, that's probably going to take you out of it a little bit. But who knows, maybe that's exactly the experience you want. And so I figured I just had to include this one in here. Uh, but yeah, that's number three, Waluigi. Let's move on to number four. So number four, of course, iconic. We got Tommy Versetti from Grand Theft Auto Vice City kind of hard. I mean, this one is perfect. So as I've said before, I know not everyone agrees with this, but to me, Saints Row is always kind of a soft ripoff of the Grand Theft Auto series. They obviously took it in a different direction. It started as like a direct ripoff and then they kind of developed their own thing as they went along. But it's in my opinion, it's just great to be able to play as Tommy Versetti in here because it just feels right, you know? It's it's a Grand Theft Auto clone and now you're playing as a lot of people's, not my favorite. My favorite protagonist from Gr Grand Theft Auto games is probably almost always going to be CJ from San Andreas. But a lot of people love Vice City. I, it wasn't as much for me, but a lot of people love it. And... Uh, this is perfect. It, I mean, obviously, it's hard to say it looks exactly like him because Vice City is so low res that the face is a little sketch. But I think they did a great job. It looks great. The shirt, uh, the shirt's iconic, obviously. But uh, 
I think the whole thing just fits together really well. And so Squirrel Man 351 created this one. There's our share code. You want to dress up like Tommy from Vice City? This is the way to do it. Here at number five, again, we got one that I did in the first, I showed in the first video. Uh, and I just wanted to show again because I didn't show who made it or the share code before. And I love San Andreas. There's very few games that stand out as much in my mind as San Andreas. Uh, this is a game that I played way more than I should have you know, as a middle schooler. And uh, Big Smoke leaves an impression. So this one is created by Astral Sue. It's Sue. And uh, there's our share code. If you want to dress up as the man who knows what he wants, you know, no one else in the game stands out, at least for me, as much as Big Smoke. Even CJ doesn't stand out as much as Big Smoke in my mem memory. So yeah, if you want to dress up as Big Smoke, lead in his own crew in a different city. Maybe uh, he got away from San Andreas and that's how he end ended up in Santo Aleso. Uh, that's some fun headcanon. So there's Big Smoke. That's how you get him. All right, and for our next one, I find it kind of ironic, but we've got Johnny Silverhand. And there's multiple Johnny Silverhand creations, but I think this one does it the best. Uh, this one is almost identical to uh, to the now infamous character from Cyberpunk 2077. A lot of people are comparing Saints Row, uh, you know, 2022 to Cyberpunk 2077, and that a lot of people have had just game-breaking bugs and that it's a lot of people consider it to be the worst game ever or whatever. So the, the crossover of Cyberpunk 2077 to Saints Row, it's just built right in there. Our creator for this one is N41. Babuska, which is a cool name. There's our share code. You want to dress up like the uh, cyberpunk rocker himself? Unfortunately, his gun doesn't transfer into the game because uh, that was the coolest thing about cyberpunk. But uh, yeah, that's how you do it. The, the perfect ha partial cyborg Keanu Reeves character for playing in Saints Row. Also, again, this one's a great one. I find it infinitely more believable than a lot of the... Uh, things you might be playing as as the boss in Saints Row. So there's Johnny Silverhand. All right, and lastly, we got the bad guy from Sonic the Hedgehog, or at least one of the bad guys from Sonic the Hedgehog, Dr. Ivo Eggman Robotnik. I'm not a Sonic the Hedgehog fan. That may shock you. It may not. Uh, it may leave no impression on you at all, but it is the truth. And even I recognized who this was supposed to be. I was like, wait, that's that weird looking egg shaped guy from that hedgehog game that I never played. <laughs> um, but I think it looks pretty great. And just yet again, if you want to go for that goofy alternate video game headcanon, uh, uh, somehow I still find it pretty believable that uh, Dr. Robotnik could be leading the Saints. Uh, and if you want to make that work, this is the way to do it. This one is created by LeroyJethro.exe, which is a fun name. Uh, and there's our share code. So that is the last of the seven video game characters I'm going to show you today. While doing this video and planning these out, there were a lot of other really good video game characters that I came across from games that I love, but I didn't show them in this one because I picked these ones out first and I hate having to redo my work. And so... If you want to see a part two where we go over some more video game characters, trust me, there's some great fodder out there and I can show you some more. But that's all for today. Uh, if you liked this video and you want to check out more stuff like this, I have a playlist linked in the description with all my other Saints Row co uh, content. Some is going to be videos like this showing different boss factory creations. Other will be Others will be guides showing you how to find items in the game, stuff like that. So definitely check out that playlist if you're a fan of the game or these videos. But that's all for today. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you liked this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.